Today's Gotcha Like mini movie is called I Want You, Not the Alpha, and this story is by Juni Yoon, so I will have the original in the description down below, and let me know what other gotcha stories you'd like to see me react to next. Thanks for the ride. Huh, she seems friendly. Hello. Hi. Are you a new student? Yep. I can lead you to the principal's office if you don't mind. Yes, please. Follow me. Uh, uh, Carla. <gasps> Ooh, hey, bro. Uh, hey, little sis. Bye. Okay. Carla. <laughs> what was that? Don't ask. He was cute, though. Jackson. If you touch my little sis, I'll smack you. There's the principal's office. Thanks. I brought the new student. Thank you, Carla. You can leave first. Okay, sir. See you later. See ya! Kame, you can leave too. Okay. I'm here for my schedule. Yes, let me get it for you. Here you go. Thank you. Now get going before you're late. Goodbye! Now then, where is my class? Alright, it should be on the second floor. On the second floor? <gasps> here it is! What? Where is everyone? Did I get the wrong room? <laughs> There's the bell! I'm late now! Okay, calm down. Calm down! I just have to check the other room. Nobody's here. Uh, uh, can you please get off? I'm sorry. Here, let me help you up. I'm sorry for falling on you again. It's fine. It was only an accident. Why were you running in the hallway anyway? <gasps> That's right. Do you know where my class is? Today, they're doing a project in the library. What floor is the library on? On the first floor. Thanks, Kane. No problem. What about you? Don't you need to get to class? Nah, I'd rather skip. Isn't it bad if you skip class? It would be bad for your future career. I don't really care. Uh, okay, let's go to class. I don't want... Uh, I'm not taking no for an answer. On the first floor. Sorry for being late. Uh, you must be the new student. Yes, my name is Chloe. Also, sorry for being late. It's all right. It's your first day after all. Besides, you didn't know that we would be in the library today. About that, I came across Kate. He kindly led me here. That was very kind of him to do so. Anyway, we only started the project yesterday, so it's not too late for you to join in. You just need a partner now, and since Kaim is here, he can be your partner. All right. The working tables are over there. Let's go. Isn't that your brother? Yeah. My book. So, Kaim, what topic should we pick for our project? You can decide. I think we should find a topic that we both agree with. Isn't that the older brother? Brother of the Alpha? Yeah, I heard rumors about him. He really is different compared to his little brother. Compared to the Alpha, the older brother really is a disappointment. Just like the rumor said, he looks gloomy. No wonder he gets picked on all the time and is friendless. I wouldn't want to be friends with him either. Hey, you should shut up! <laughs> What's your problem? I'm telling you to shut up! What right do you have to order me around? You're not the Alpha. <laughs> Now will you shut up? I, I, yes. What's with all the noise? <gasps> A mark. Uh, go to your next class now, students. Hey, let's leave together. My teacher. Uh, alphas. <laughs> you really are an alpha. Yeah, so? Don't come near me in the future. Uh, what? Uh, I don't have time for this. I can't be late twice in a day for class. The next class? Uh, made it in time. It's them. Hey, girls. Hey, it's you from earlier. I'm glad we have the same class together. Me too. She's jealous. Uh, what's your name? My name is Clove. What's yours? I'm Carla. And she is Rena. More importantly. More importantly? Am I not important enough? Is that an alpha mark on you? Yep, I'm an alpha. Ooh, that's that's amazing! Anyway, have you heard about... That's all? Aren't you guys worried about there being another alpha in this school? Blah, 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 blah. After class... Hey, Kim! <laughs> really? Second floor... Kim! Stop running! Just what kind of man will run away from a pretty lady? I'm pretty sure you're the first! Uh, he escaped! What's with all the noise? I will catch you, Kane! Whoa! Detention! A crazy girl is after your older brother, Seal. 
<laughs> Get your spit all over me. We've never seen school so fun before. Don't you guys agree? <laughs> no, you're just easily entertained. Ever since that day, I've been chasing after him. Again. Go help the girl. Again. And again. No running in the hallways. One week later. Hey girls, have any of you guys seen Kaim? You're still chasing after him? It's already been one week. I don't want to give up. Why? What do you mean by why? Why do you keep running after him? Don't you think what you're doing is only annoying him? So why bother? Because he didn't explain anything. He's keeping distance from me without explaining anything. It makes me wonder. Did I do something wrong to make him hate me so much? So I have to ask him face to face what did I do wrong? And honestly saying I can't seem to get him out of my mind. He went to the roof. Thanks. Go get your man. <laughs> what just happened? Love. Love just happened. Aside from that I'm surprised. Surprised about what? Surprised that you chose to say something. I thought you would just stay silent as always. You You've been watching me? Well, of course, we are friends after all. Is that what you thought I would say? Of course, I've always been watching you. Because I have always loved you. On the rooftop? Where is he? There he is. Came. Ugh. Don't even think of running this time. I finally remember that I can use teleportation. <sighs> what do you want? I want to know why you've been avoiding me. Did I perhaps do something wrong to you? No, you haven't done anything wrong. Then why are you avoiding me? Because... I'm not good enough. What do you mean? You're an alpha. An alpha such as yourself should be hanging out with those that are up to your status. Such as my little brother, another alpha, and his friends. Somebody like me doesn't deserve to be around you. Why would you say somebody like you? What makes you think that you aren't good enough? Hey, I'm at age six. I don't want to play with you anymore. Why? Because you're not an alpha like your brother. Kaim, age eight. Kaim, don't get in the way of your little brother. He's bound for success. Kaim, age 12. I'm breaking up with you. Before you ask me why, it's because you're nothing compared to your little brother. I'm just nothing compared to Alphas like you guys. <sighs> Even if you are the person I fell in love with, <sighs> I don't deserve an alpha like you. You're better off- Ugh, Listen here, Kaim. I'll only say this once. I want you, not the alpha. You are the person I've been thinking of every day and night. The person I look forward to seeing when I come to school every day. The person who I want to have my first kiss with. Understand? <laughs> yes, I understand. Also? Why is she taking off my hoodie? There. <laughs> I've always wanted to see your face clear. You look more handsome now. Can, can you let me go now? Anyway, you want to have lunch together later? Okay. Let's get to class. Ugh, barely in time. Get to your seat, students. Hey, Clove, is that Kaim? Yep. It is, brother. Isn't he more handsome now? I mean, he was handsome before, but without his hair covering his face anymore. He looks extra handsome now. That was Kaim. Students, attention, please. Since then, Kaim stopped running away from me. Hey, Kaim. Though he wouldn't let me touch him. Kaim. But he was definitely changing day by day. Another week later. Excuse me, but have any of you guys seen Cove? Why are you looking for her? Because? Yeah, why are you looking for her? Uh, because she didn't come see me like she usually does. She went to the second floor. Thank you. Go get your girl. Deja vu. Nice job, you two. Do I get a hug? No. <laughs> Brother, it's just a hug. Give him one. <sighs> okay. Hug. Brother, hug him back. Yeah, yeah. I have to admit, hugging him doesn't feel that bad. On the second floor. Uh, move. <gasps> Kaim! Wait, he's letting me touch him. Got to enjoy it while it lasts. I'll just leave. Kaim. Yeah? Aren't you gonna let go now? 
No. Why not? Because I like you. Uh, what? What did you just say? I said that I love you. Really? Yes. Do you mind me asking? Hmm? What were you talking about with Seal earlier? Are you perhaps jealous? What if I am? <gasps> You're so cute! Just answer the question. <laughs> we were talking about... You! Uh, about me? Yeah, he asked about you. To be exact, about your health and if you were eating properly during lunch. <gasps> Yo was... Hey, Kane. I don't know what happened in the past between you two, but I know that he cares about you. Meanwhile, in the first period classroom, Seal rarely smiled, but he smiled at her. No, don't overthink it. What's wrong? Seal, when did you get here? A few seconds ago. Aside from that, is something bothering you? Come on, just ask him. Uh, earlier, you... We can talk later. Class is about to start. After class? All right, students, don't forget to do your homework. Want to play after school? It's only first period class. Come on, this is your chance to talk to him. Uh, I should just ask him. Ugh. Sorry, Linda. Talk to you later. I have to take this call. Go ahead. We'll definitely talk later, okay? I love you. <laughs> I was anticipating what would happen once Seal come back, but at the end of the day, he never came back. We were told that he left school early for some reason. Make it worse, he didn't show up for the next few days. Of course, we asked him, since they are brothers. He said that Seal hasn't returned to the house since that day. And when he asked his parents, his mother reassured him and his father that Seal was fine. But when he tried to ask for more information, his mother always got off topic or found excuses to stop the questions. The next day? What's wrong with everyone? <laughs> <laughs> Seal, are you okay? I'm fine. Continue with the lesson, please. Uh, don't worry, I'm alright. Just got no sleep. Please sleep then. Five minutes later. They shouldn't be sleeping during class. But I can't bring myself to disturb them. After class? That was a good nap. I'm glad. Uh, I remember that we still have to talk. Uh, Lunch recess time? <laughs> what the? Who is it? Me. Seal? Why? What? Can we have a serious conversation? Okay. So, my parents are throwing a party tonight. Yeah, so? What does it have to do with me? I want you to attend that party. Why? Because I need you to protect Kame. What do you mean? Why would Kame be in danger? Shh. Did you find him? No. Keep searching. What's going on? I don't have time to explain, but... Wait. Couldn't I am just... <laughs> you know... No! <laughs> Why not? It'll ruin the plan. <gasps> There's a plan? Yes. Five minutes later of explaining the plan. But you have to make sure to protect Kane. Of course, I won't let anybody hurt him. Alright, so I'll have to leave now or they'll start making chaos. Wait, what about Linda and the others? Won't they attend the party? No, they won't attend the party. The party is only for friends of my dad and mother. Okay, I got it. Check that room too. I'm leaving now. Take care. Young Master Seal, stop making so much noise. Let's leave. It should be safe to leave now. <gasps> Sight is clear. <gasps> okay. Why were you gone for so long? I was... um... <laughs> Wait, should I tell him? I mean, his life is at stake after all. But it might ruin the plan. What should I do? <laughs> See you. you didn't tell me what to do in this type of situation. Whatever then, even if he knows or not, I won't let anybody hurt him tonight. Uh, Glove? Uh, sorry, I got distracted. So, as I was saying that I wasn't feeling well, so I took longer, that's all. Well, it's good that you're alright. Why? Was there a problem while I was gone? Yeah, there were a few strange men making a lot of noises earlier. I was worried something might happen to you, so I came to check if you were okay. Don't worry, I'm alright. And besides, there's no way they could harm me in any way. But thanks for worrying. I love you. Me too. That night at Kim's house in the basement. It was easy to get inside the house with a key seal gave me to the basement. Now just to sneak into the crowds. Just act 
that's normal. Now, where's Kane? Huh? Isn't that... What are they doing here? Seal, you liar! <sighs> what to do now? Hey, Groove. Bro, you're going to blow my cover. Hey, guys. I didn't know that you're also attending today's party. Yeah, I wanted to surprise you guys. Okay, they're no longer paying any more attention to me. Though seriously, where's Kaim? Meanwhile, with Kaim, come in. Dad's set to gather in the ballroom. Okay, hey, Seal. Yes? Uh, never mind. Okay? It's so hard to start a conversation after avoiding him for so long. Might as well go get it over with. Back to clothes. Boy, that's already your fifth cookie. I want some too. Mm, you know what? Uh, that's what you get for not giving me a cookie. Can I have everyone's attention? I want to thank everyone for coming today. Today, we are celebrating the 10th anniversary of opening my company. <gasps> His hair is tied up. Clove? And the others too? Why are Linda and the others here? Uh, such a long speech. Let's have another cookie. Once again, thank you for coming today. Time to start the plan. Where are you going, Clothes? To the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, okay. The guards are on the way to the basement. I can't just go around and enter the same way I did earlier, but might have guards at that door too. Besides, it would be too much time to go around. Ah, I can just just teleport to the basement, but it would be troublesome if they went to the basement too. And it's obvious what's left to do. <laughs> yeah. Good night. One minute later. Now then. Uh, just sign the paper, hand over your company, and I'll let your son go. Simple, right? Ha! I'd like to see you try. Uh, who? Barely in time, Clove. Sorry, I had to take the other guards out first. You. You were on in this? To be exact, he was the one who planned this. You betrayed me? Your own father? Father? You're no father of mine. No! Ha! Nice try. That's it. You're crazy. Wanna test me? You're an idiot. Don't forget, I'm also capable of the same thing as her. Well, so am I. Too bad, son. I have more experience than you. Oh, go help Seal, please. What? Seal needs help from another alpha like yourself. Kane, you know I can't leave you alone. Please, I don't want Seal or my dad in danger anymore because you have to protect me. No, don't talk as though your life doesn't matter as much as theirs does. Seal! <sighs> Any moment now, son, then he would have no choice but to sign the shares. Don't touch my family. Enough. Are you perhaps? What happened to them? They just fainted from the pressure. Aside from that, I'm sorry that we took such a long time to get here. It's alright since nothing major happened at the end. Soon those guys were taken away in police cars. Of course, Kame and Seal's mother was also taken away since she was an accomplice. Hey, were those police cars? Well, were they? Seal? I love you. <laughs> I, I love you too. So, why are you guys outside? It was boring inside. <laughs> Seeing it in front of the owner of the party himself. It was? Three days later in prison. Why did you help them? I, I, I was afraid. Afraid of what? Afraid that once you learned that Seal wasn't your son, you would be disgusted with me. Hate me. Leave me. So, so. Before you figured out the truth and abandoned me. I I decided to abandon you first. And at the end, it took me here, inside a prison. I got what was coming for me, didn't I? Ugh, I already knew Seal wasn't my child. <gasps> what? We look nothing alike. I'm not even an alpha. Haven't you wondered just where did Seal get his alpha mark from? Obviously not from me. But despite all this, I still saw Seal as my own son together with Kane. That's why I didn't expose you. Or did I mind living in the same house as you until you tried to put our sons in danger? Or should I say, my sons in danger? <laughs> I just came in here to get some answers from you. I'll leave now. Did you ever love me? I did. Until you cheated on me. Goodbye, Ami. 
Meanwhile, with Kame and Seal, let's leave before we're late. Hey, Seal. Yes? Thanks for saving me. It was Clove who saved you, not me. I know, but you were the one who planned to save me and informed Clove, so thanks, little brother. No problem, big brother. Let's leave before we're late. At the park, after everything calmed down, we all went on a date together. I finally had my first kiss with the person I love. So that was I Want You, Not the Alpha, a Gotcha Life mini movie by Juni Yoon. So I will have the original in the description down below. Let me know what other gotcha stories you'd like to see me react to next. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. And if you're new, subscribe to Kim a Mermaid or Merman. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.